Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and today, boy, we've got a Loretta Lynn rookie concert poster, just like rookie baseball cards, right? 1962 for the coal miner's daughter, my goodness. We all know how hard it is to get a top ten record in any field, right? Basically, it's reaching the top, top ten hit in any field. And uh, Loretta had 51 top 10 hits in the country music field in her career. 51 times did she enter the top 10. At the time of this poster, nada, zero. She hadn't had her first one yet, so that's what I mean by rookie, <laughs> rookie not yet famous poster for sure. Um, although granted, she was just right on the cusp of having her first one. Three months later, she would find top 10 country success with success. That's right, the name of the record, her first top ten hit, was called simply Success. So some nice wordplay <laughs> enabling there. So, um, but anyway, here we have it, you know, it's a typical 14 by 22 inch cardboard window card. And uh, as you can see, and I'll give you a top to bottom scan there, it's uh, obviously a yellow poster with black print. And it's from Washington City, Missouri, which is about a five hour drive from Nashville, which of course the Grand Ole Opry is based. And um, I like the fact it's kind of neat. It's Friday the 13th, see that, in the spring of 1962. And adults were, I'll get a little closer on the venue info, uh, adults were $1.50 and children just 50 cents when bought in advance and a little bit more on the day of the show at the door. And proceeds were going to a local youth charity. So, And there's the Grand Old Opry stripe right across the middle there, those three magical words in the country music field. Interestingly, Loretta Lynn had actually debuted with the Opry a couple of years prior, but was not a member of, of the Grand Old Opry until September of this year, so a few months to go before she was an actual member. Now, right before, uh, right below, rather, Loretta Lynn's name there is Cliff James and Jimmy Ray, and I'm telling you, I, I couldn't find a thing about them, so I'm presuming, you know, a small show like this that uh, everybody below the national star, Loretta Lynn, was homegrown talent. So I think that's true probably with those two gentlemen. And then there is a picture of the next act there. I'm getting all those crazy guys. Some real corn pone humor there, it looks like. Lemon Ebner. I see they are looking like straight out of Hee Haw or something, <laughs> which wasn't born yet. But um, I couldn't find anything about them either, and I have to assume they drew their name from a very famous radio comedy program of the 1930s through the 1950s, and that was Lum and Abner. So here you have a couple of local guys hamming it up as Lem and Ebner, uh, you know, <laughs> perhaps to really illustrate just what it is they do, which was comedy. Now below them you have Ron and Leona Williams, and Leona Williams actually, um, she was pretty accomplished. She was Loretta Lynn's bass player and did background vocals, and at the time of the show she was just 19 years old. But she went through quite a career in country music and ended up marrying Merle Haggard and writing two of Hag's number one hits. So that's pretty cool. And uh, interestingly, Leona performs uh, much later on, even to this day possibly, with her son named Ron Williams. But obviously at 19 years old here, we can just, assu just assume that Ron was her husband at the time. And then down below that, that's, this is a really a funny one there. The last act listed... Bill Beanie and the Westerners, holy cow, boy, he was um, a radical right-wing Baptist minister from the area. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'll just sort of leave it at that and, <laughs> instead of telling you what I found out, but um, not a straight musician by any means. But interestingly, Bill Beanie is known among pop and rock fans and stuff as being a huge Elvis Presley fan, and his position is he's one of those who thinks that Elvis is still alive. That's right. And he's actually opened a museum, written a book, and maintains a website to support that position. So, <laughs> um, anyway, it kind of, kind of adds a nice little Elvis spin to this country poster from, uh, from many moons ago. So, if you like the poster, but let's say you're too suspicious, it's Friday the 13th, so you just say, I, I don't want to have a Friday the 13th poster in my collection. Well, how about the next night, Saturday, April 14th? Okay, <laughs> got it right here. I wish I could say that with most posters I hold up to show you. But anyway, here you can see Saturday, April 14th. And it's in Festus, Missouri, which is actually south of St. Louis. And it's uh, really neat because it's at a high school auditorium. See that? That's a nice touch. So obviously the main difference between this and the previous poster is red ink on yellow instead of black. And uh, it does add the line comedy team above Lemon Ebner, as if that picture needed any explanation, and it removes entirely Bill Beanie from the bottom. He uh, didn't make this gig just um, 
no, just the, the previous one the night before. So there's no printer's credits on these uh, posters, but they were made by Hatch Showprint out of Nashville, Tennessee. Now, um, as for Loretta Lynn herself, I saved it for last because if you found this video, I think I'll switch to the black ink again. I like it a little better. Um, very little needs to be said, said about Loretta Lynn, that's for sure. I mean, she, uh, you know, she was really a hard honky-tonk singer in 1962. She, she really was, but she mainstreamed somewhat and eventually became known as the first lady of country music. And she tackled some real thorny issues, which uh, she gets a lot of credit for. Um, you know, she had a hit song called The Pill, you know, about the birth control pill and stuff when it was new and things like that. So she took on, she was a real champion of blue collar women's rights and is really respected for that reason in the field. And as you also know if you found this video, in 1980 a major biopic was made about Loretta Lynn called Naturally Coal Miner's Daughter. And actress Sissy Spacek won an Academy Award for Best Actress playing Loretta Lynn. So that's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the posters today. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you next time here. I look forward to it. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.